Welcome to Scarpa. I thought today I might give you a little bit of detail about our famous Instinct family, and especially this model, the Instinct S. So maybe I'll start with the shape. The Instinct shape is special. It's not too asymmetrical, and it's only slightly downturned, and it's quite wide across the forefoot, but quite narrow across the heel. So you'll see also that the toe profile of the Instinct's quite high, and that means that the, the knuckle of the big toe is quite pushed at the end here and quite high up and it gives a lot of toe power at the end of the Instinct. So maybe you'll see a bit clearer the special pattern of the Instinct if we have a look at the upper. So you can see here is an upper without any rubber on the outside and you can see this special double fronted construction that the Instinct has. The big toe has no seam underneath it and also the four toes don't have any seam. And these panels run the full length, these leather panels run down. And then the top, this black material you can see is this twin ply microfiber, which keeps the compression of the foot. You can also see these rubber bands, these REB bands, and that keeps the slipper really nice and tight over its life. So the next layer down underneath that is the midsole, and that just goes over the top here. You can see with all the Instinct shoes, it's the same. It's a flex hand midsole that only runs half the length of the shoe. And that gives a little bit of stiffness at the front of the shoe, but also allows for good flexibility. The CTS system is only found on the S. And you can see this piece of rubber here. It guns underneath the shoe, and you can see at the top, it runs up and over the top of the shoe, and then around the sides. And this stronger piece of rubber is a single piece, and it runs all the way from the tip under the foot, around the outside, and then back under. And this stronger rubber supports the toe in the front here when it's really getting a lot of pressure under foot. But you can see this softer M50 rubber with all the holes here. And that makes the shoe much more adaptable, similar to our Drago models, and gives the upper a little bit more flexibility than the other Instinct models and a real glove-like fit. So quite stiff under the foot, still with excess grip two rubber at the front here, and excess grip two at the back, and a little bit more flex, but certainly a real glove-like fit that's famous in the Instinct family, but I think the S you'll find an even more special shoe. Thank <music> you.